Hello everyone, this is Happy Dreams. Okay, now we will continue with some netting. The given IP address is right here, 8.8.8.8 slash 25. Okay, let's find the class first. Hi, how do I find the classes? Okay, you always have to look for the number at the first octet the number right here is 8 so let's take out our handy dandy class chart out number 8 is in between number 1 and 126 so it's class 8 Class A. And you might wonder what is this 25 means? Well, 25 means is the given masked beats. So with this number, we'll be able to find the subnet ID. Uh please don't think overly like don't get frustrated. Let's think very positive and take a deep breath because it's not that hard 25 uh, just think as it is like it means you need to have 25 ones okay and remember each octic has to have 8 beats right so here it goes 8 ones dot and here goes another eight ones that's sixteen total of sixteen and here goes another eight of ones that's total of twenty four and twenty five right here and you might wonder what are those seven of zeros right there those are the host beats so we need to have eight beats in one octet we already have one right here that's 25 number of 25 one right so rest of them will fill in with zero and those are gonna be hosts so we have seven hosts and you might wonder what are those up there those are the given IP address in binary format. So how do we for, uh, convert the dotted decimal number to the binary format? It's easy. You see those numbers up there? If you're in IT field you already might know what are those for. And those are the powers of 2. And what we have to do is we always have to look into the numbers in each octet and we need to find the number with this numbers right here so 28 is too large to be 8 0 64 is too large to be 8 so we put 0 and same here 32 too large 0 16 too large 0 Aha! 8 right here. So we put 1. So it's already 8. So rest of numbers is going to be 0, 0, 0. And that's how we got this number right here. This binary format. And it's easily repeated number. So it's going to be repeat all over. And as you can see, there's 8 numbers, 8 digits of numbers in each octet. So this is IP and this is the mask beat. So how do we find the subnet ID? Like remember the ending um, ending pictures that I drew for you guys? And we have to multiply to get the uh, results. That's what we're gonna do. Zero times one 
equals zero. Zero times one equals zero. Zero times one equals zero. Zero times one equals zero. One times one is one. Zero times one equals zero. Zero times one equals zero. Zero times one equals zero. Okay, and these numbers and those numbers are same, so the result of here will be same here too. And also right here, this number and th those numbers are same. So, it's going to be the same answer. But here will be not. So, 0 times 1 is 0. Zeros times zeros are going to be 3 zeros. And 1 times 0 is 0. And 3 zeros times 3 zeros will be zeros. And now what to do? We have to convert to number again. It's easy. You All you have to do is plot this zero right here. And second zero to the 64. Third zero to 32. Fourth zero to 16. And one to eight right here. And zero gonna be right here. And this zero gonna be right here. And this zero gonna be right here. There. So is eight. So we put eight right here, and those three numbers are same. So it's gonna be repeated eight. Uh oh. So what do we do with the zeros? Think positive and don't overthink. It will be zero, and that's how we got some net ID. Okay, now let's find the numbers of some nets and hosts. How do we do that? I'll show you. Okay, don't get nervous now. Relax, relax. It's not going to be that hard. Remember the uh, default mask of the class A, which is 255.0.0.0? Now, we're going to use that now. Alright, and let's use this one right here to this one right here. We're going to put it right there. Because now we need to use that too. Okay. How do I got 255 right here? That means we have full 8 bits. What do we mean full 8 bits? That means we have 8 of 1s. All the 1s consider as full bits. So how do I got 255? That don't answer my question. Okay, relax. Come on now. Wait for a second. I'll show you. This powers of 2 will help us a lot, like I said earlier. Let's say we have one right here, 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 one right here. Okay? That means we have 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. We have to add all those numbers and that will equal to 255. Oh, interesting, right? So, as our default mask already have 255 so we have to cancel that out because it doesn't count because it's already been there so all we gotta do is count this beats which is 255 255 and 1 please don't count the host we have to use the host with the host okay so total of 8 beats right here because it's 255 there is another 255 and 1 so 8 plus 8 equals 16 right 16 plus 1 is 17 so here is 
the subnet formula that we have to use, which is 2 to the power of subnet, number that we found right here. And that's the answer. This is the formula for the host, which is 2 to the power of host minus 2. Remember the hosts were 7, because there is 7 zeros right there. And how do I find that answer with the calculator? Okay. Let's pull out your calculator. Go to view. Change to scientific calculator. Two. And use this button right here. To the power of 17 it goes and it gives you the answer right here okay let's clean that up and let's find the host 2 to the use this button right here power of 7 right there 7 the host number 7 minus 2 126 Okay, thank you for watching guys, and I will be back with the other subnet, which will be the class B later on. Thank you.